Welcome back everybody, Clint here today with Classic Firearms bringing you a much anticipated, much requested review of the FN 510 10mm striker fired pistol and this is one that has been requested by so many of you on the live streams, on the comments section, anytime we host any type of badass pistols, you're like, hey, where's, where's the 510 review? Clint, we know you have it. We follow you on social. We see you shooting it. Give us the 10 millimeter pistol review. And here it is, and it's sweet. All right, so you probably have already have an idea about how this review is gonna go, but let's go ahead and talk really quick about the things that I've modified on this gun and you know just you know for you know purpose of clarity here uh, or transparency and the only thing i've done to this gun is add the eotech eflex red dot which we'll be talking a little bit in this review but at the end of the day it's all about the fn 510 which again is a 10 millimeter striker fired pistol and right off the bat something i'm really excited about is the capacity it ships with either two 10 round magazines depending on you know where you live but if you live in you know a more free state uh it does ship with one 15 round magazine which is fine and well pretty much a standard capacity when it comes to a defensive handgun uh capacity which you know i'm not, not, not mad about and one 22 round magazine yes 22 rounds of 10 mil all of your bear stopping power that you could ask for and yes this is going to be an expensive video to make because all i have with me today is jacketed hollow point you're welcome and something to think about as well 10 millimeter is quite the round. Now, obviously it was too much of a round for the FBI, so they had to shorten it a little bit, add a little less powder and make ultimately 40 cal, you know, so Kaya. Uh, with that being said, however, if you're thinking about 10 mil for defensive use, if it's good enough to stop a bear, then it's probably good enough to stop most uh, criminals today. Just throwing that out there. All right, great. Now. Before we head to the range, we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit about the features of the FN 510, like its completely ambidextrous controls. That includes your ambidextrous mag release, which I can do with just my thumb that you see right here, and of course with, you know, on the right hand side. You don't have to swap parts or anything, it's ambidextrous as it is, which is nice, but one thing I'll talk about on the range is how that might be a hindrance if you're trying to do some reloads. Another thing that's cool is it does have an ambidextrous uh, slide lock, slide release, which you see right here on the right hand side and right here on the left hand side you know so easy enough to manipulate as you can tell and here it is traditionally and here it is southpaw easy enough right great cool something i like about the slide release is the fact that it is uh, it's hidden right you're not going to be accidentally manipulating this or anything like that notice the material raised around the slide release that definitely helps with protecting it and making sure it's not getting accidentally hit or manipulated easy enough 4.71 inch threaded barrel awesome love that picatinny rail underneath oversized trigger guard in case you're shooting this with gloves if you're not shooting it with gloves and you're worried about gripping it don't worry it's got stippling for days in different directions and patterns all over the gun which is pretty cool. The front of the grip, you'll notice, is stippled for your gripping pleasure, as is the back back strap, which also comes with a variation of back straps. I've got this more flat-faced one, which feels really good in the hand. How will it feel when we shoot? I'll let you know shortly. But you've also got additional stippling on the side here, which is, you know, aggressive enough. It's not as aggressive, let's say, the stippling on my FNX 45 Tactical, uh, which, you know, we could probably do a comparison video, but, you know, FN 545 striker fired, the FNX 45 tacticals hammer fired, there you go. Uh, but with that, you'll notice the stippling still good enough. And then we've also got some really fine stippling happening right up here where your thumb rests. It just feels good. They did a good job with it. Another really favorite feature of mine of, of this gun is uh, the sights. You've got some beautiful sights over here. I'm pretty much gonna, in order for this to focus, I'm probably gonna have to flag myself, but hey, we're clear. So there you go. And beautiful sight picture. You'll notice we've got the E-Flex turned on. Obviously the red dot's a lot more crisp and fine to the shooter, uh, but there you go. I love those suppressor height tritium sights that it comes with, just like what's on my FNX. Just beautiful sight picture, love those, all right? And with that, the trigger. The trigger is something that I fell in love with at SHOT Show this past year, NRA Intermediate SHOT Show, one of them. I think they released this gun at SHOT Show this past year. And 
you know, this was, this was my experience when I walked into the FN booth. They said, hey, here's the 510 and 545. We know, we know you're excited about it, but we also heard your criticism of the 509's trigger and how gritty it was, and, and it just wasn't your favorite. And I was really surprised that they said that. And that's not just my voice. I think that's a lot of our general consensus about the 509's trigger. Cool gun, feels good trigger's a little gritty, they could have done a better job with it. And that's exactly what they did with the 510 and 545. So let's go ahead and take a look at the trigger that we've got on here. You're gonna notice that it is just a hinged safety. You can see that in action right there. And if I slowly start to apply some pressure, bam, there it is. No grit, just a smooth take up and then reset and release solid. They did a great job on the trigger of this gun. Nicely done. Now what do you say we head on out to the range? Let's go shoot some rounds with it. So what do I think about the FN510? I think it's pretty freaking cool. All right, let's just... It's gonna be hard for me to not fanboy over this gun. This is a gun, I don't say this too often, I'm buying this gun. Straight up, this is making its way into my, maybe not my everyday carry. Well, out here, maybe. But I will say that 10 mil obviously is not an anemic cartridge. I mean, the FBI had a pretty difficult time handling the cartridge, so, for me, it should be, you know, adequate. And uh, <laughs> I am just gonna say I, I, I love this gun. The FN hit an absolute home run. Now, go ahead and comment down below. What gun, guns, perhaps, do you want to see this one squared off against? And I'm talking, well, obviously the SIG X10, uh, the Glock 10 mil. There's another one, I'm uh, Smith & Wesson, I think. So just let me know down in the comments, what comparison do you want to see the 510 against? Now, the only detractor is the price of this gun, which when you think about it, isn't too terrible. It's coming in just shy or actually just above $1,100 uh, MSRP. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think that's a good price? For me personally, the quality, the feel of this gun, the fact that I can get 22 rounds of 10 mil uh, plus one, I'm gonna say I think it's worth it. I'm gonna say I think it's worth it, and you're talking to the guy that owns an FNX 45 Tactical, I own the FNP 45 Tactical, and the reason I didn't wanna compare it to the, or you know, shoot the FN 545 is because 45's everywhere. 10 mil, I think, is making a comeback in a large way, and I'm excited to see it because it is an impressive little round. And so there you have it. The FN 510, ladies and gentlemen, I am a fan, feels great, and the controls are easy enough to manipulate with the gloves. I thought I was going to have a little bit more of an issue manipulating that magazine release with gloves on because it does protrude a little bit out the opposite side when you press the magazine release. And since I have to change my grip just ever so slightly to actually manipulate the mag release, I'm not having that issue. Is it bad, however, that you're having to change your grip? If you practice with it, train with it, probably not that big of a deal, right? So here we are out here. This is actually my first time running it with gloves, by the way. I've been running it uh, just, you know, bare hands uh, up until today, but it is a, a little, little cold. You can probably see some of the snow from last night on the ground still. Uh, and again, I, I'm really impressed with what FN did. So good job, FN. I give this one a very high score, 10 out of 10. Did it and just excellent work. It heard me talking too highly of it and had to induce a malfunction. I'm trying to think, did I, did I cause that malfunction somehow with, with my grip on the gun? I don't know, that's the first time I've had something like that happen on me. I'm gonna call that one a fluke. And also it's dry, I haven't lubed it up or anything. But hey, that's my first malfunction after hundreds of rounds through this gun already. So there you have it. Guys, again, comment section, let me know what you think about the FN510. Are you as excited for it as I am? Will you be running out to pick one up yourself? Like this one's, this one's got my name on it. What's the serial number on it? Ah, 
no 42069. Maybe next time. All right, I'll leave it off there. Don't forget to head on over to cfcontest.com to see all the fun things that we've got going on over there. Maybe you'd like to see a loadout featuring this gun at CF Contest. Ooh, wouldn't that be spicy? Let me know what you guys think about that. And also, there's a couple other things I want to remind you of. Uh, SHOT Show is coming up. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, but you're here just to see a pretty good review about this FN510, get subscribed because we are the premier coverage and source for all of your SHOT Show updates. We do is, we give you as close to live coverage as possible. So, of the SHOT Show floor. I mean, you're gonna see interviews with uh, perhaps celebrities, <laughs> but also, of course, all the manufacturers and manufacturer reps out there showing off the latest and greatest that their manufacturer, their company has to offer. And of course, exclusive different uh, range days, things like that, SIG, Beretta, Daniel Defense, a couple to mention, Agency Arms even. And so we're gonna have some, uh, a pretty good time. So don't miss out on our coverage of SHOT Show 2024. Get subscribed if you're not. And I'll leave it off there, guys. As always, we appreciate you and your viewership. God bless. And we'll see you next time at Classic Firearms.